Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fabulous Tiffany. So today, I am going to be reviewing my Louis Vuitton Boss 4 backpack. So as mentioned in my Milan video, the primary reason why I'm reviewing this bag is because I was able to thoroughly use it on my trip to Milan. And now I can tell you the pros and cons of this bag. I mean, I got this last year in September and I never really got the chance of using it fully as a backpack as opposed to just a shopping bag. Um, so a bag that I used to go shopping with. So now that I have taken it on a trip, I can tell you its versatility and things I like and don't like about it. So. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton Boss 4 backpack. It's a little flat at the moment because I was about to put it in back into the box that it came in until I thought of doing review. So as you can tell, there are a lot of compartments and right now I'm just cinching it so that it looks more um, like the shape it should be in. So as you can tell, there are a lot of compartments. There are two zippers at the front one um, minor one at the right pocket, a side zipper, which holds a lot inside because it literally goes to like the mid of this bag and obviously the inside. So with that being said, what I love about this is that the straps here aren't made of leather. It might be kind of a weird thing to say, but I like this because I feel like these fabric, um, texture okay the only thing i can compare this to is like the airplane straps that um buckles you into your seat that's basically the texture of this it sits very comfortably on your shoulder again because it's not leather so it's got a good grip on your shoulder and it doesn't usually slide down it can go very long and or it could go very short anyways so with that being said, gold detailing. So the buckles are gold. It's also gold down here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris at the back. So, and it's got a nice handle. Again, the detailing I'll show you. Two zippers at the front. Each zipper has a LV on it. So the detailings of this bag are superb. The inside also says Louis Vuitton, made in France. Made in France. And each of these holes also says Louis Vuitton on it. So the detailings, again, are superb on this bag. So the compartment is huge inside. Literally, my arm goes up all the way down to my mid elbow or even below it. The bag on the side here literally goes all the way here. So this whole area is what fits, is how big, sorry, the back pocket is. For me, what I like to do is I would usually put my phone on one po in one pocket for easy accessibility, lipstick, eye drop, tissue, whatever needs to be quickly accessible outside in this pocket, or even when I go shopping, I start to put my receipts in here instead of, tr of cramming it all into my wallet because then it's easier for me to sort which one I actually paid for today, which one I need to keep, etc. And just all around, I mean, a lot of people say that this bag is relatively small, but for me, I think it's ideal because I do not carry my laptop around. I don't use my iPad outside of my house. So there's no need for me to carry these bulky, big items. What fits in here and it's still light is a water bottle, a big makeup bag, my wallet, my phone, everything that you would fit into a purse you can definitely fit in here without it being too heavy and whenever i wear this bag people know i'm serious it's a serious shopping day i need my hands free and with that being said you want everything to be accessible right and this bag does it all so i brought this bag to milan scorching average 40 degrees celsius outside every day 
You didn't want anything sticking to your body because you were already perspiring. You sitting there watching people bike makes you perspire. So with that being said, I didn't find this bag to be too uncomfortable or uncomfortable at all when I was on this trip because although you think it's a backpack, when you wear it, it still has, I don't know, maybe it's just the length of how I wear it, but it still has a hole here where it doesn't necessarily touch your back, right? So with stuff in it, there's like a hole there. So it doesn't really touch your back, but at the same time, it's at a very comfortable length. And everything you want is very accessible. You can unzip here, unzip here, whatever. Um, the pros of this bag is definitely that it's a backpack. It's got very accessible pockets. It looks amazing. And the con is, well, let me think real hard about this one. The con of this bag, okay, maybe the fact that you have to tie it up and then buckling it with this um, kind of strap can get annoying for some people. I mean, it got annoying for me a couple of times, but it's not that big a deal because I don't really tie the inside. I just usually just flap, um, flip it over as a flap cover to buckle it up, and I don't really cinch the inside of it often. Um, and I mean, the bag itself is relatively light, good fabric, good leather. Um, and all around, I give this a 9 out of 10 because of its accessibility, its lightweightness, the amount, the perfect amount it can carry, and just being a Louis Vuitton. So the, I guess the one mark I take off of it is because I just don't want to give it a perfect score. But other than that, the wear of this bag is superb for anything, be it shopping, for traveling, whatever it is. Great investment because I know this bag is a little pricey, but it's been around Louis Vuitton and it is, has been a classic for decades. So only bags that have great wear, versatility, and popularity, I guess, sticks around. So I highly believe that this is a great investment and you can never go wrong with a bag that is deemed classic at Louis Vuitton. So I think I've covered up, covered all the bases of this bag. Can't really think of anything else. So if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave them down below. I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, and don't forget to check out my Milan video because I am doing a massive haul as well, I guess, of sharing my Milan experience. In that video, remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And until I see you next time, be fabulous.